arena filled with fire Dreams and legends we aspire All four now have uh, decided who they're going to face off right in the beginning of this match. And we see Hans already targeting Lord Captures. Captures, of course, has been a thorn in the side of Hans Carden here in the Chicago wrestling scene. And on the other side, Ma Mahiko and Sepiko are uh, going at it, as we can see as we uh, the cameras are trying to catch up on this action. We'll do our best, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, covering everything going on in this match. Uh, it looks like Sepiko and uh, Mahiko are fighting back and forth in the corner, and uh, same goes with Capture and Cardin. But it looks like Cardin is uh, knocking down uh, Captures there, and now uh, Sepiko and uh, Mahiko now are away from the corner. Now the two young Luchadors getting hit by a huge truck by by Cap Cardin there. You see that strength of Cardin. Just tossing Sepiko That's around. That's a human being. Yeah. That's a human being he just tossed like a bag of flour. Oh, man. You listen to this crowd. They do not like Hans. No, absolutely not. He's the only person in this match with not a fun outfit. I, I don't blame them. But it's more to Lucha Libre than just flashy moves and flashier costumes. It's about skill inside of the ring while all three of the luchadors, these masked gentlemen, are, are trying to get a hold of Cardin and a triple super kick there. This is what they're going to have to do to keep Hans Cardin down because one of them alone is going to be almost impossible to take down Hans. Mm -hmm. Hans is a true powerhouse. Roll up attempt. Quick roll up. And it looks like, it looks like uh, Captures and uh, Ma Mahiko now pushing back and forth. Another pin attempt, and only a two count as a and a big super kick there from Sepiko as Cardin on the outside trying to check his teeth. We got Mahiko and Sepiko in the ring now. Sometimes tag friends, sometimes enemies. And trust me, they know each other very well, like the back of their hand. So this is going to be an interesting one on one between these two. Drop kick attempt oh. blocked. It's much smarter, as Mahiko says, with an elbow shot there. Mahiko will definitely wrestle a more of a thinking man's game, so just throwing, you know, uh, flips or trying to go for all the high-flying moves. Beautiful arm drag, but what a backflip reversal by Mahiko. Nice kick there in the back of the head. Here we go. Sepiko off the ropes. Springboard her Karana sends Mahiko down and out of the ring. Now you're about to see, Peapod, what Septico is all about. Someone call the airline because he is about to take flight. Here we go. And it looks like Harden is playing spoiler. No fly zone here in the Chicago auditorium here. You know, this is a place that Michael Jordan helped build. So you know, Jordan knows how to fly around a building doing a slam dunks. Maybe everybody thought Septico was about to do his best Jordan impersonation. Hey, well, the Jordan is the greatest of all time, and I'm not going to have that argument here. 
as now we have uh, back uh, captures and Cardin in the ring with a big stray kick into the midsection. Of course, Lord captures with those educated feet. Off the ropes. Ducks down. Another big and around he goes. The crowd is feeling it now. It's, looks like Sepiko and Mahiko trying to do a little double team action to no avail. Will we get backfired on Mahiko? Sepiko eat the worst of that, but head scissors her karana. Ooh. Bye, Mahiko. Like I said, when we bring in luchadors, we bring in some of the absolute best up-and-coming stars. There we go. Big delayed kick there to the back of the neck and a big double clothesline for the powerhouse known as Hans Carden. You see Hans is staring down Septico. There we go. Septico to the top rope. Big crossbody caught by Cardin. Just using him for reps. And a Foley slam. Threw him across the ring. Just monstrous. Listen to those boos. Definitely the enemy of today so far. The fans here at the Hope Academy are no fans of Hans Garden. They want to see him get beat the worst way possible. I don't blame him. I, I, honestly, I kind of want to see him beat. Now Septico's get, taking it right back to Cardin. Mahu got, got him on a, in a straight, in almost like a you know, backpack choke there. But not enough. Hans Carden, man, is the Das Wonderkin powerhouse of wrestling. And the scary thing is about the speed pod, he's only in his mid-20s. Insane. Here we go. Ducks out of the way. Captures is now trying to figure out what's the next move. Oh, Hans ate that turnbuckle. Seems like all three of the masked men are uh, having a little oh, fun. Oh, there we go. There's Septico. Ooh. Big arm drag. There we go. Back into the ring. Everybody's outside except Sepico, and I think. Here it comes, Peapod. Enter Mexico via Septico. Big. And a corkscrew plancha. Beautifully and executed. listen to this crowd, Peapod. Insane crowd action. Insane audience here at the Hope Academy. As now Sepico tries to uh, uh, take more work back into the ring. There we go. Pin attempt. And only a two count broken up by Mahiko. We have in store. It looks like a gory special. There it is. It's it. They in tribute to one of the grandfathers of Lucha Libre, Ooh. but a huge gut wrench souffle. Look at that delay. Just carrying him like a small child. Like a sack of potatoes. Just, just yeeting him across the ring. But Hans don't see the flying raccoon known as Mr. Lord captures himself. Can the Lord deliver the flying trash bin one two and three lord captures wins Big win, kicking things off on Saturday morning. Grapple Masters here at Flow. Lord captures with the W in this four-way action. 